After defeating Tag DiBiase to win the WWF North American Heavyweight Championship on June 19, 1979 in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and defeating Johnny Rods in a tournament final in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil to unify the North American Heavyweight Championship with the South American Heavyweight Championship. Pat Patterson became the first WWF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion on September 1, 1979. Ken Patera defeated Pat Patterson on April 21, 1980 in New York. Pedro Morales became champion on December 8, 1980 after defeating Ken Patera. On June 20, 1981 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Don Morocco defeated Pedro Morales to become champion. Pedro Morales regained the title on November 23, 1981 in New York. Don Morocco became champion for the second time on January 22, 1983 after defeating Pedro Morales. Tito Santana defeated Don Morocco on February 11, 1984 in Boston, Massachusetts to become new champion. On September 24, 1984, Greg Valentine defeated Tito Santana in London, Ontario. Tito Santana became champion again after defeating Greg Valentine on July 6, 1985. Randy Savage defeated Tito Santana on February 8, 1986 in Boston, Massachusetts. On March 29, 1987 at WrestleMania 3, Ricky Steamboat defeated Randy Savage to become the new Intercontinental Champion. The Honky Tonk Man became champion on June 2, 1987 in Buffalo, New York after defeating Ricky Steamboat. The Ultimate Warrior defeated the Honky Tonk Man on August 29, 1988 at the first SummerSlam. At WrestleMania 5 on April 2, 1989, Rick Ruth defeated the Ultimate Warrior to become new Intercontinental Champion. The Ultimate Warrior became champion for the second time on August 28 at SummerSlam 89. On April 1, 1990, the title was vacated when the Ultimate Warrior defeated Hulk Hogan for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. Mr. Perfect defeated Tito Santana on April 23, 1990 in a tournament final for the vacant title. Kerry Bonera defeated Mr. Perfect on August 27 at SummerSlam 90. On November 19, 1990, Mr. Perfect would regain the title after defeating Kerry Bonera. Bret Hart became Intercontinental Champion on August 26, 1991 after defeating Mr. Perfect. The Mountie defeated Bret Hart on January 17, 1992 in Springfield, Massachusetts. Roddy Piper defeated the Mountie on January 19, 1992 at the Royal Rumble. At WrestleMania 8, on April 5, 1992, Bret Hart defeated Roddy Piper to become champion for the second time. The British Bulldog defeated Bret Hart on August 29 in London, England, at SummerSlam 92.
Shawn Michaels became champion on October 27, 1992 after defeating the British Bulldog. Marty Jannetty defeated Shawn Michaels on May 17, 1993 in New York, New York. Shawn Michaels became champion for the second time on June 6, 1993 after defeating Marty Jannetty. On September 27, 1993, Shawn Michaels was stripped of the title for failing to defend it within 30 days. Razor Ramon defeated Rick Martel on September 27, 1993 for the vacant title. However, Michaels returned in November 1993, claiming to be the legitimate champion as nobody defeated him for the title. Ramon went on to defeat Michaels in a ladder match on March 20, 1994 at WrestleMania 10 to become the undisputed Intercontinental Champion. Diesel defeated Razor Ramon on April 13, 1994 in Rochester, New York. Razor Ramon would regain the title on August 29, 1994 at SummerSlam 94. At the Royal Rumble on January 22, 1995. Jeff Jarrett defeated Razor Ramon to become new champion. On January 22, 1995, the title was held up when a match between Jeff Jarrett and Bob Holly ended in controversy. Jeff Jarrett defeated Bob Holly in a rematch for the vacant title on April 26, 1995. Razor Ramon became a three-time champion on May 19, 1995 after defeating Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett would regain the title on May 21, 1995 after defeating Razor Ramon. On July 23, 1995 at In Your House 2, Shawn Michaels defeated Jeff Jarrett to become champion for the third time. Dean Douglas won the title by forfeit due to Shawn being attacked outside a nightclub in Syracuse, New York on October 22, 1995. Razor Ramon defeated Dean Douglas on the same night to become champion once again. At the Royal Rumble 96, on January 21, Goldust defeated Razor Ramon to become new Intercontinental Champion. On April 1, 1996 in San Bernardino, California the title was held up when a title defense against Savio Vega ended in a no contest. In a rematch the very next week on Raw, Goldust would defeat Savio Vega to become champion once again. Ahmed Johnson defeated Goldust on June 23, 1996 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the King of the Ring. Ahmed Johnson forfeited the title on August 12, 1996 after being attacked by Farouk after winning an 11-man battle royal. Mark Merrow defeated Farouk in a tournament final on September 23, 1996 to become new champion. Hunter Hearst Helmsley defeated Mark Merrow on October 21, 1996 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. On February 13, 1997, Rocky Maivia defeated Hunter Hearst Helmsley to become new champion.
Owen Hart defeated Rocky Maivia on April 28, 1997 on Raw's War. At SummerSlam 97 on August 3rd, Steve Austin defeated Owen Hart to become the Intercontinental Champion. On September 8, 1997, the title was vacated due to a neck injury that Steve Austin suffered in winning the title. Owen Hart defeated Farouk in a tournament final on October 5, 1997 to become champion for the second time. Steve Austin defeated Owen Hart once again on November 9, 1997 at Survivor Series. The Rock became champion for the second time on December 8, 1997 in Portland, Maine. Triple H defeated The Rock on August 30 at SummerSlam 98. On October 9, 1998 Triple H vacated the title due to an injury. Ken Shamrock defeated X-Pac in a tournament final on October 12, 1998 to become new champion. Val Venus defeated Ken Shamrock on February 14, 1999 in Memphis, Tennessee at St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Road Dog became champion on March 15, 1999 after defeating Val Venus. Goldus became champion for the third time on March 29, 1999 after defeating Road Dog. The Godfather defeated Goldus on April 12, 1999 in Detroit, Michigan. Jeff Jarrett defeated The Godfather on May 25, 1999 to become champion for the fourth time. On July 24, 1999 in Toronto, Ontario, Edge defeated Jeff Jarrett for the title. Jeff Jarrett would regain the title on July 25, 1999 at Fully Loaded. D'Lo Brown defeated Jeff Jarrett in a title for title match, where Brown also defended the European Championship on July 27, 1999. Jeff Jarrett defeated D'Lo Brown on August 22, 1999 at SummerSlam. Jarrett also won the European Championship in the match to become the second Euro Continental Champion. China defeated Jeff Jarrett in a good housekeeping match on October 17, 1999 at No Mercy. Chris Jericho became Intercontinental Champion on December 12, 1999. On December 28, 1999 on SmackDown. A title match between China and Jericho ended in a double pinfall. As a result they were recognized as co-champions. Chris Jericho defeated China in Hardcore Holly in a triple threat match on January 23, 2000 at the Royal Rumble. Kurt Angle defeated Chris Jericho on February 27, 2000 at No Way Out. Earlier that month, Angle had also won the European Championship. This win made Angle the third and final Euro Continental Champion. At WrestleMania 2000 on April 2, Chris Benoit defeated Kurt Angle and Chris Jericho in a two-fall triple threat match, 
where both the Intercontinental and European Championships were on the line. The first fall won the Intercontinental Championship in the person to score the second fall won the European Championship, Benoit scored the first fall to win the Intercontinental Championship. Chris Jericho became champion once again on May 2, 2000 in Richmond, Virginia. The Chris Benoit would regain the title on May 8, 2000 after defeating Chris Jericho in Uniondale, New York. Rikishi defeated Chris Benoit on June 20, 2000 to become new champion. Val Venus won his second Intercontinental title on July 4, 2000 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. China won the title again in a mixed tag team match on August 27, 2000, where China pinned Trish Stratus to win Galvina's championship. Eddie Guerrero became champion on September 4, 2000 in Lexington, Kentucky. Billy Gunn defeated Eddie Guerrero on November 21, 2000 to become new champion. Chris Benoit won his third Intercontinental title on December 10, 2000 at Armageddon. At the Royal Rumble 2001 Chris Jericho defeated Chris Benoit to become new champion. Triple H defeated Chris Jericho on April 3, 2001 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Jeff Hardy defeated Triple H on April 10, 2001 to become new champion. Triple H would regain the title on April 16, 2001 in Knoxville, Tennessee. Kane defeated Triple H on May 20, 2001 at Judgment Day. Albert became champion on June 26. 2001 in New York. On July 23, 2001, Lance Storm defeated Albert to become new champion. Edge won his second Intercontinental title on August 19, 2001 after defeating Lance Storm at SummerSlam. Christian defeated Edge on September 23, 2001 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at Unforgiven to become new champion. Edge would regain the title on October 21, 2001 at No Mercy. Test defeated Edge on November 5, 2001 in Uniondale, New York. Edge defeated Test in a unification match, where Edge was also defending the WCW United States Championship on November 18, 2001 at Survivor Series. On January 20, 2002 William Regal defeated Edge to become the new champion at the Royal Rumble. At WrestleMania X8 on March 17, 2002, Rob Van Dam defeated William Regal to win the title. Eddie Guerrero defeated Rob Van Dam on April 21, 2002 in Kansas City, Missouri. After this, the World Wrestling Federation became World Wrestling Entertainment. This has been the history of the WWF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion.